Okay, so here we're going to be looking at the bunker shot. And a couple of things about the bunker shot that we want to sort of discuss before we really get into the swing. And that is how the trailing edge of the golf club itself is going to help to provide lift as the club hits down and through the shot through the sand. So notice here an impact. My weight is moving into my left side and I'm finishing all the way to the target, which a lot of people forget to do when they hit a sand shot. They stop at the impact area, which doesn't provide enough velocity to get that golf ball out and up to your target. So again, as you watch how I kind of drop that club down and through, you'll notice how my weight is simultaneously shifting into my left side. So here I'm set, I drop the club down and through, good solid impact position, and then the golf club will go through to a good solid finish, and I'll watch that shot go right to the target. In the down the line view, we're we'll getting a chance to actually see some of the result of the shot. Again, you notice how the golf club is coming into a set position, dropping down through, and really kind of getting that ball to loft up in the air. We control the length of the shot by altering the length of the swing and also the angle of attack of the golf club coming into the ball. So here, one more time, we'll see how the club sets and drops all the way through into the finished position. We don't want to forget to finish the swing. I know it's so tempting to swing at the ball, but it's very, very important to swing through the ball. That's going to be what kind of extends that splash of sand out to the target and ultimately controls the length, trajectory, and overall position of the golf shot. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to rank your bunker.